Hi, everybody. Welcome to Jenkins Bullet Works. I am Chuck Jenkins. In this video, we continue working on our San Marcos stand up paddleboard. If you've been following the channel at all lately, you know that we've been working most of the winter to try to get this completed, and we're very close to getting done. This video is going to be a little different. I hesitate to even put it up. Uh, we are going to make our first attempt at doing our final sand and our varnishing to get a, a good protective coat of varnish on. And while I was doing it, I just didn't quite feel like we were really all the way there with the sanding and that sort of thing to get the kind of result that I wanted. And then as I went back and looked at the video, I could see imperfections uh, even on the camera that I couldn't see just with my naked eye. Um, and at the same time, I could see reflections in it that I couldn't see while I was standing over it. So I was really kind of torn about the whole thing. And I kept telling myself, and you'll see this in the video, that I think it's going to be okay. Uh, the two bolt length rule, uh, well, it's not perfect, but I can probably live with it. And things like that really pretty much throughout the video. Uh, the end result was that uh, even though I tried to not drive myself crazy, <laughs> I did. And uh, there will be another video very soon of a second and much more successful result in our varnishing. So why am I putting this video up? Well, the fact of the matter is, is that I did a lot of things right. And varnishing is almost an art form. And even though I'm not super proficient at it, this video contains a lot of helpful tips, things that you can and should do if you are varnishing pretty much anything. And so I'm in hopes that you will get to uh, learn some, some good, valuable information about varnishing and see how I go about doing it. And I'm not afraid to show you that I fail. Uh, not everything is a roaring success. A long time ago in a video, somebody commented, it wasn't even on this project, it was on another boat, and they said, you know, one of the things I like about you is that you show when you screw up. Well, if that's what you like, you're in luck today. So anyway, we're glad you're here. I'm sorry the introduction's so long, um, but like I said, this is just, this is different. So anyway, uh, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and jump in. Uh, this project's very close to being done. And uh, so we're glad you're here. And Toby's going to ruin this. He was like, you're already talking too long. <laughs> okay, I'm just about ready to try to start varnishing our paddleboard. But I'm trying to get our surface just about as good as I can. Hi, Toby. <laughs> okay, okay. He wants to go for a walk. <laughs> okay. Oh, Toby. We'll come back to this in a second. Okay, so I, I wiped this all down with water and alcohol, and I can still feel little grits in it. So then I just got some water in a, in a towel and like pretty wet and wiped it all down. And I can see, I mean, it looks beautiful, but I can see places where there's just little abrasion, scratches. Uh, it just doesn't look perfect. So I'm going to wet sand now. And I've got a sanding board that I made a long time ago when I was building the Haven. It's real thin plywood. I made these little handles. It's got cork on this side, just a thin layer. And then I've got this high-tech abrasive. And this is actually like what they use in body shops for cars. Um, it's a roll, and it's got some adhesive on the back. And I can just put it on here cut off however much I need. And this is a 220. I don't have anything finer than that. I think we're gonna be able to achieve our desired results with this. 
I know some people, you know, go crazy and go up to 320 grit, that sort of thing. Um, I don't think it's necessary. But I am going to try to do it wet. So. I just got, it's just plain water and, and a towel, and I'm gonna wipe this down where I wanna sand, and just leave it kinda wet. And I mean, you can see how beautiful it's gonna be when it's got the, when it's got uh, varnish on it. But if I get down and look like this, I can see just little imperfections in it. So, I don't know, when you've spent this much time on it, there's a tendency to want to get done, but then there's also a tendency to look at it and go, you know, I spent this much time on this, let's get it right. And then that way, the first time I crash it into the boat dock, I can cry big crocodile tears. <laughs> All right, so now we got our 220 on here and this is still wet. I'm gonna go with the grain. I'm not pressing down super hard. One of the things this does is it kind of keeps the dust, keeps the dust down and it keeps it on the sandpaper. So you want to change your sandpaper pretty regularly. So for just this area that I'm doing right now, I'm going to change my paper after I get done with this. You can see it's kind of making a little bit of glaze there, saw, or sawdust, sand dust, glaze. So of course, we're gonna wanna wash this off real good once we get done. It's okay to turn the sanding board a little bit like this, but I don't wanna come across like this. I'm gonna stay with the grain. All right, we're getting ready to varnish. Uh, we've got this sanded down uh, at least 220. I had a little bit of 320. So it's pretty smooth. It could be a little smoother, but I think it's gonna be fine. And I'm using a microfiber cloth. Now this isn't, a, this isn't an oil cloth, it's just microfiber. And uh, it's just recently been washed and I'm wiping this thing down to just make sure we've got every last little bit of sawdust and grit off of here. I washed it twice um, and I think we're good, but I'm just gonna take this and run this down here. It's weird, you can feel roughness and imperfection with this. Uh, it makes me want to sand it some more, but I'm going to put some varnish on it, just see what it looks like. <clears throat> We've got some sunlight coming through the window over here and I can still see just little tiny specks that look like glitter in places. And again, that's where we could sand a little bit more, but my, my problem and the reason I'm not going to is because I can see parts of the fiberglass cloth. So we're kind of right on that edge of where it just enough is good enough. And I really do think we're gonna get a very nice finish on this. Um, so we're gonna use our Epiphanes. I didn't get very much. I love this stuff. This is an excellent varnish. You could, you could use anything, but the point with the varnish is that, uh, number one, we want to make it shine, um, but also we need to protect the epoxy. Epoxy is uh, not, not very resistant to ultraviolet. And of course, obviously we're gonna have this thing out on the lake and a lot of sunlight. So we want to protect it with the varnish. So basically that's what we're doing is we're protecting the, the uh, epoxy. 
There are clearly people that are way more accomplished at varnish than I am, but I've done my fair share too. Um, one thing I'm noticing is that this seems a little thick. Um, so I'm thinking I'm gonna, I'm thinking I'm gonna thin it just a little bit with this pen. Fine, it's not gonna matter because, um, in a worst case scenario, we could sand it all down. So. I have this stirred pretty well, I believe. I'm going to go ahead and pour a little bit in this cup. I'm going to use this cup as, as to, to paint out of. I've got a new brush. I'm going to pour just a little bit in here. You see, it seems thick. It seems thick to me. I'm probably going to want a little more varnish in this cup. I didn't, I didn't pour very much in there. I want to kind of test it though and see how it's going to go. Put a little bit of this in here. Now, not too much. A little goes a long way. It feels thick. It feels really thick to me. I don't know that it's going to level out very well. It won't level out. It's easy to get brush marks in it. I think we're doing okay. I'm probably 50-50 on my thinning mix now. It feels, it feels thinner. Let's see how, how it goes on. Oh yeah, that's better. We work into the wet area and then come away from it. Now I'm gonna try to run mostly with the grain. So what I'm doing here right now is just getting this edge wet. And stuff dries really fast. So once you get, get it on there, you're, you're done. You need to just move on. Otherwise you make it worse. You can't like go back and touch it up. I need to get back over here and work into that wet edge. I'm going to have a problem if I don't get back over there. It's probably 65 degrees in the shop right now. It's a really optimal working temperature. Kind of want to feather it. I'm working back into the wet edge there. And then I want to run with the grain, but like here, I'm kind of coating it and going across the grain and that's okay. Another hair. Stop already. I could have had that much fun with a chip brush. I'm kind of picking little sections. So like I'm staying from the half over. Or you can see, you can see just the teeniest, tiniest little scratch marks in there. 
I think once we get this on here, we will, uh, obviously we'll let it dry good, then we'll come back and sand it a little bit, just very, very lightly, and then put another coat on it. And I believe that we're gonna be able to kind of correct some of these little imperfections that I'm seeing, but boy, overall, looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. I see you can see how much I mixed up and I still got this much left and we're almost halfway down. Obviously we're gonna have to get some more and mix it up, but it goes a long way. I mixed up another batch. I've got close to two ounces. I did one ounce of varnish and then about a half an ounce of the uh, flood penetral. So it's, it's less syrupy. I think this is actually slightly thinner than what I just did, but we'll see how it goes. Okay, let's see, I gotta go over there. It feels good, it feels right. It feels great. Oh yeah, that's good. See there's where that wet edge was. I don't know if you can see that, but it's trying to dry right there and I'm coming back into it. I hope that doesn't show up later. That's a reason for mixing up enough varnish all at once so you have enough without having to stop, mix up another batch. That's gonna be okay. Man, it's satisfying work though. This is so fun. This really is enjoyable. All the work we put into this over so many months, you start by buying lumber and then you mill down your strips on the saw and all the figuring and calculating and gluing them together. And really has been a wonderful project. I keep joking about, well, I hope I can stand up on it. <laughs> if I can't or I hate it, I'll just sell it, I guess. Give it to one of my more athletic children. My, 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 sometimes it is worth spending the money. This stuff's not cheap. I think I paid $25 for this little, little teeny can, but man. If you want results, is one way that we can help to avoid seeing our brush marks. In other words, if I'm coming across like that, it's way more easy to see a brush mark cross grain than it is if I'm coming with it. So we're just gonna feather, try to make sure we've got brush marks knocked out of there. And I got this much varnish left. I got that much left, and there is this tendency to come back up here and fix places. Part of the reason it might look kind of weird in places is because it's starting to dry. And so the last thing you want to do is fix it because you're not going to fix it. You're going to make it worse. So we're just going to let the whole thing dry and then we'll come back and determine whether or not we want to just scuff it up with a Scotch-Brite pad or if we want to go maybe to a, like a 220 or a 300 type grit and, uh, we're gonna be doing more than one coat. So well, if all else fails, read the instructions. Okay, so I got this uh, Epiphanes varnish. And so my inclination was right. When I started doing the work on here, I thought this is just way too thick. And so I thinned it and I thinned it with this flood penetrol. You could use some other mineral spirits, but this is specifically 
design that's a good product. Um, so in the very fine print back here, it tells you how to do this. And on the first application, it says thin it by 50%, which is pretty much what I did. So uh, the blind squirrel found a nut. Um, it does talk about letting it dry for 24 hours and then sanding it with 220, coming back doing another coat, still thinning it, but not quite 50%. And they talk about getting up to four and five coats and gradually thinning it less and less so that even on a fifth or sixth coat, you're only thinning down maybe 5%. So I don't know that we're gonna get that carried away with it. I had said I'd take the camera loose and uh, show you what I'm seeing as far as little imperfections and that sort of thing. Honestly, I'm super happy with this. You can see some little imperfections in there, some little like bubbles, little pinhole type looking things. We got good coverage. There's a place there where it just is a little splotchy, but that could be because of drying. Something else I noticed a second ago. Oh yeah, can you see the reflection of the total boat sign? Yeah, I can. <laughs> nice. I remember working on a deck on a canoe one time and I was like, I want to see myself in this. And I just kept sanding it, varnishing it, sanding it. <laughs> I went crazy. Well, you see how the light's reflecting? It did that when we were um, having the issues with the, um, with the fiberglass cloth and the weave fill. I, I'm seeing a lot of stuff here that I'm really not very happy about. We don't have like a uh, forced air system in here. It's got a little ring right there. I don't know what that is. That's weird. Can't see it on the camera. You know what? Sometimes you gotta go with the two boat length rule. In other words, what does it look like at two boat lengths? At two boat lengths, it looks awesome. So I'm not gonna drive myself too crazy, I hope. I know how I am though, oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, it's good, it looks great. I really am very happy with it. The fact of the matter is, the more I looked at it, the more unhappy I became about it. Tune in next time when we sand it all back down and revarnish.